Might as well. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Here we go. Uh, WWE Women's Championship match. Candice Michelle versus Beth Phoenix. Uh, for a women's match, this should be good. Their uh, Unforgiven match was alright. And I'm not too big on women's wrestling. But, you know, these these girls, they can go. Especially Beth Phoenix. I mean, she's pretty good in the ring. So, my prediction, Beth Phoenix will win this match. Uh, doesn't really matter. Six can't. I'm not a big Candice Michelle fan. I'm not big on her at all. Uh, I was when she... You know, a couple of years ago, but now it's just, I don't know, something wrong with it. Finley versus Rey Mysterio. This match could be good. Finley, uh, he he does good on pay-per-view. He actually, he just does good all, overall. I don't know why people don't realize that. Uh, Rey Mysterio, uh, you know, he should pull off a good match. I'm not a huge Rey Mysterio fan. I like old Rey Mysterio back in WCW, but uh, like I said, it's just something about him that just, like, ugh. But, you know, these guys, hopefully they'll pull off a good match. Don't see this feud going on anytime soon. It's not really a feud, but I don't see it going on any longer than this. So, this should be a good match. Uh, Ray Mysterio coming out. ECW Championship match. Vic Daddy V versus CM Punk. This match made absolutely no sense. You had the freaking elimination chase to no mercy for the past three weeks, which was a good idea. The four-way for the first week was great. The triple threat match was pretty good. And then you had Tommy Dreamer versus Elijah Burke, which I saw some of it. It was all right. But, you know, you had Tommy Dreamer winning. We were like, oh, my God, we're going to have the, you know, ECW original Tommy Dreamer versus CM Punk. You know, it would be nice to see. And then Big Daddy V comes out, squashes Tommy Dreamer, and puts himself in the match. For what? It makes no sense. I would rather see Balls or Miz in the match. But <laughs> Big Daddy V is so boring. <laughs> USC lose. Uh, Triple H versus Umaga. This is stupid. Triple H is going to squash Umaga. And, I mean, not, not saying that Umaga doesn't deserve to get squashed, but it's going to happen. I really don't care. You know, it's, I'm not going to, like, oh my god, I can't believe Triple H squashed Umaga. I'm not going to make a big deal of it. It's going to happen. I'm just letting you know he's going to get squashed. Uh, if, you know, Umaga does end up winning this match, which I doubt he will stand corrected Pujambi prison match for the world heavyweight championship Batista versus the great Kali why do we have to keep seeing these guys you think putting them in a Pujambi prison is going to make that feud any better make the match any better it's not it's going to be the same boring match you're probably going to have uh, I was about to call him Bortista uh, I was about to call him Bachtista excuse me Dave Batista We'll probably cut a promo before this match. I guarantee you it will be boring because he doesn't know how to cut a promo. I know you all saw Friday Night SmackDown. That promo, oh my god. That was like, that was horrible. Horrible. Basically, they showed a video package of the Pujambi prison just in case people didn't know what it was. You know, they explained everything. This is a pajama. They showed pictures, the match between Big Show and Undertaker and everything, whatever. Batista comes out and explains what the pajama prison is all about. I'm like, dude, just, just get the heck off the mic, man. And then we have the WWE Championship match. Uh, we don't know who's going to be in the match. No Mercy is only six matches long, so I f- think they'll probably put like a number one contenders match. Uh, if not at the beginning of the show, like near the middle. Or even before this match, uh, there's been talks of Jericho coming back. Oh, by the way, I got that's another thing I can say. There's been talks of Jericho may come back. Uh, like Isma said, if it does happen, I'll mark out uh, completely. I mean, I've been preaching that Jericho, you know, he's not going to save WWE, but it would be nice to see him again because he's just good. Maybe he'll bring his uh, 1,004 holds with him. But, you know, no telling who it would be. Uh, if they give the belt to Randy Orton, you know, I mean, as you can see in my profile page, he's, like, my favorite. Uh, it'll be, it'll be alright, you know. Nice to see Randy Orton with another title run. His 04 title run was just so, it was stupid. He was a face, and it was completely premature, and, you know, it'd be nice to see one now. Uh, but that's exciting to see, because they haven't announced anything. I hope no spoilers come out tomorrow about... Who they're going to choose as champion. Just keep it on the wraps until it happens. That's the good thing about it. Uh, one thing, quick thing I want to say. Pujambi Prison Match. If you have seen 
the Survivor Series poster, there is a picture of Edge standing there with a chainsaw, and at his feet you can see like the wood or the bamboo. So, I mean, if he comes out with a chainsaw during that match and cuts down that, you know, prison and then attacks Batista out, that would be great. I mean, I know he's not going to wrestle, but still, just just to come out and then just, you know, be back on SmackDown. Not to wrestle yet, but, you know, that would be great. That would be money's worth. Um, Overall, this pay-per-view looks, it looks terrible. But the WWE Championship match could be something special. That's why I'm not going to, you know, crap all over this yet. I'm going to watch it tomorrow, and I will let you all know what I think about it. Ah, <sighs> till then. Who knows? Jericho comes back over oh, this. Save us two two two.